After I've collected observations from my task, I can go in and edit the value added, non value added, and semi value added times for those tasks. To edit the value added time, I can double click on the cell, which will bring up a spreadsheet showing all the different ways that I can classify that value added time. This task happened to be collecting a filter. So I'm going to set the time here to the normal time and then click OK. That walking time was brought in as non value added, and here you can see that the red flags have gone away. The red flags appear when the sum of the value added times do not add up to the normal time. Now that my value added times add up to the normal time, the red flags have disappeared. I can also directly enter the value added, non value added, or semi value added times into the cells in the spreadsheet. So I'm just going through and entering the times here. And as I'm doing it, the red flags are disappearing. Let's say I'll go back in to more specifically define the type of value added or non value added time that it was. And here you can see that when I go into the value added spreadsheet and I add a time there, it's checking this box over here has classification which means the value added, non value added, or semi value added time has a classification uh, beyond what's seen here in this spreadsheet. And then I'll just do this last one here. Now I'm going to call a save. And now I've added the value added times for all of my tasks. This template is completely customizable so that you can set the value added specifications and further break down the value added, non value added, and semi value added times. Over here, you can see the total time for the task, the value added time, the non value added time, and the semi value added time. And you can also watch the video of that task within this editor so that you can get a better idea of how you need to categorize the value added times. In a later demonstration, I will show you how to customize the value added template.